And he's obviously had some incident. The fairing flapping in the breeze. Well, has the Austrian Superbike champion got anything in reserve? And Weibel looks over his shoulder, sees these three men in pursuit. And that means he will quicken his pace if he can. Hoffman second. Truxess now up into third spot. Mecklau is in fourth place. And Truxess, who has had one win in pro superbike racing this year already, would like to make it two wins if he can. But Edwin Weibel and Andy Hoffman. It's this lap and the victory in this competition are going to be now or never for Andy Hoffman. Truxess in third place, behind him Mecklau, but it's two riders who are in with a chance of victory. It's going to be either Edwin Weibel or Andy Hoffman, and there is not a lot in it. Hoffman is getting closer. Can he make a move? He looks for the inside line, closes the gap still more, down to just a couple of machines lengths now. Weibel has got a fight on his hands. But Hoffman knows he's had points snatched away from him on the final lap of Pro Superbike races already this year. He wants to try his hardest, but he won't want to make any mistakes. He doesn't want Weibel to get even further ahead in the points chase if he can help it. The lead would stretch to 13 if this is how they finished. Weibel would go three more points ahead, but if Hoffman can get in front on this final circuit, the gap would be just seven. Weibel leads, Hoffman in second place. That's the gap, just nothing in it. Hoffman is a brave man and he's a talented rider, and Weibel will know this. Chin on the tank, the charge is on. Down behind the Perspex, and they both bob up for the braking, going into this long, long, sweeping right-hander. And they both take a tighter line. They don't want to give room for anyone to come through, storming through on the inside if they're going to go past. Weibel wants Hoffman to go round the outside, and that's always difficult. Weibel hanging on to the lead is just one machine's length now. The final few yards of round 12 of the 1992 Pro Superbike Series. Weibel ahead, Hoffman in pursuit. Hoffman must make a move soon. Weibel looks over his shoulder, he knows that his rival is there. He just wants to see whether he's been able to shake him off. The chequered flag is ready. Weibel must hang on, surely. Hoffman winds up the wick on the Kawasaki, but Weibel celebrates in advance. He knew he'd got the measure of the Kawasaki man. So Edwin Weibel, the winner. An excellent victory for Edwin Weibel, whose form has been so good this year. But I don't think he's going to be first away. There's number eight, Andy Hoffman. Well, Callum Merger up there at the uh, near the front. If he's not exactly at the front, though, it's Tr Carl Truxess. In fact, it's Johnny Vervis. Johnny Vervis off the second row of the grid, who hurtles to the front. Well, the Dutchman, a former motocross uh, star on the World Championship trail. Behind him, Roger Kallenberger, number one, Udo Mark in about fifth place. And uh, Johnny Vervis making a fine start. Roger Kallenberger in second place. There's number eight, Andy Hoffman, in third spot. Hoffman second in the championship points, the spray being kicked up by the rear wheel conditions. Very tricky. Well, what a great start from uh, Vervist. Lightning reactions off the second row of the grid. And uh, the charge continues from the back. Jeffrey de Vries, number 44 there, trying to uh, get close to the man he started level with. And that's Johnny Fevis, number 77, on the Kawasaki. Good start from him. Kallenberger under a lot of pressure now from Andy Hoffman. Oh, and Fevis in big trouble. Well, you need to be a motocrosser. <laughs> right in front of the main grandstand. And uh, Je Johnny Fevis, a very lucky man, stays on board. And Lord knows how he did that. Kallenberger, though, seizes the chance to go through. Here, he got the sideways and surely his motocross experience came to the fore he was in amongst the shrubbery ruining somebody's gardening handiwork but he stayed on board and that is all that matters he lost a couple of places so roger kellenberger the man who was quickest in practice the swiss rider out in front beautifully turned out uh, motorcycle andy hoffman the man tucked in behind Kellenberger on the Yamaha from Switzerland and uh, another Swiss rider, Andy Hoffman, behind him. Kellenberger will not be scoring points, he's not uh, 
taken out a license for this series, so he won't be scoring points. But uh, Hoffman will still want to beat him. Verwist uh, recovered. There's Peter Abato on the Lux Yamaha, the veteran German. You find these conditions just a bit straight. He's been around a long time. And uh, where the others may falter, Peter Abato will get stuck in. Kallenberger going well, just stretching a slight advantage from Andy Hoffman. But they both saw Johnny Ferrist in big trouble at the end of the previous lap. And uh, they know how easy it would be to unload. Kellenberger, the leader. Hoffman, then Ferris trying to recover from that near disaster. Peter Abato behind him in full spot. Yamaha leads from two Kawasaki's and a Yamaha. Number five, Peter Abato in fourth place. Then Schwenda on yet another Kawasaki is in fifth spot. No sign for the moment of Edwin Weibel, though, the championship leader. And Johnny Ferris trying the brave route round the outside and that puts him on the inside for the second part of that uh, S's section and Vervist recovers another place he dropped from first to third he's now back up into second place so Kellenberger leads Vervist in second spot then Hoffman, then Peter Abato, then Ernst Geschwender Abato looking as though he wants to go even higher. Here's Vervist. He's a... Uh, Sager Schwender's blocked, and Hoffman goes through. Well, you could see that coming, and then Schwender, I'm sure, will be absolutely furious with those guys. And uh, Thomas Stocker goes down. Well, Thomas Stocker's right on the hind, Gerica Suzuki. Not been a success. And uh, well, the controls have been uh, well wiped off there, so uh, that's sad. Back with the race leader, Roger Kellenberger. Fastest in practice. Been one of the new names to hit the big time. This fella's uh, making a name for himself as well, Johnny Fervist. Well known to most.